Well, I'm very grateful to Sangeeta Datta and to Bethak for organizing the screening of Kefi Nama, which is a documentary made uh, by Shamantro Ghoshal uh, on my father Kefi Azmi. This happens to be his birth centenary year, and um, I'm really delighted to present it at SOAS. I do hope people like it because I think it's very important that uh, we remember not just the person Kefi but also his life and his times because they inspire us and they remind us of a time when artists as a policy worked believing that art should be used as a as instrument for social change and I think in today's world it's very important to remind ourselves. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, this is a documentary made on uh, Mr. Kafi Azmi and made by a very talented uh, uh, filmmaker. He has made a very long documentary and very interesting documentary on Zakir also, Zakir, uh, the tabla player. And um, it is really a labor of love because when you'll watch it, you'll know that, uh, yes, this is a good filmmaker and if he is uh, the nephew of great Satyajit Ray, so it's for not nothing. Um, very fair, very well made film, very much film. It's a pretty long film, almost three hours, but uh, a documentary, if it holds you for three hours, uh, has to be a very good documentary, yeah. Good evening, everyone. A very, very warm um, welcome to all of you to SOAS uh, this evening. My name is Avinash Paliwal, and I'm the Deputy Director of the SOAS South Asia Institute. Um, on behalf of the Institute, a warm welcome, and it's, it's a great, it's, you know, this evening we'll be celebrating, I usually am an academic, so I usually, I mean, when I'm introducing something to someone, an event to someone, it's mostly academic in nature. Uh, I'm delighted that this is not the case this evening. We are celebrating the life and times and works of a noted progressive Urdu uh, poet Kefi Azmi this evening. And uh, to do that, to, to celebrate that, we have amongst us someone who actually does not really need an introduction. Uh, deserves one. And she's a, very, she's a noted, award-winning film, television, and theater artist and an activist. Uh, Mr. Vana, if you could I request you to please come and have a seat over here. Uh, in addition to that, we have Mr. Sadeep Singh. Guys, you can clap. Uh, Sadeep is a writer, a literary editor, translator, and photographer. He's edited and co-translated uh, a new forthcoming book uh, on Kathy Azmi poems, which has been published recently by Bloomsbury. That also deserves a clap. It takes a lot of uh, Sudeep uh, is the first Asian honor to speak and read at the Nobel Laureate Festival, and the Government of India awarded him the Senior Fellowship for Out Outstanding Persons in the Field of Culture and Literature. Welcome, Sudeep. Uh, and our third panelist this evening is uh, Ms. Sangeeta Datta. She's a well-known writer, director, and an independent filmmaker and cultural commentator. She is the director of Betak, a non-profit arts company, uh, and Storm Glass Productions. Please, uh, Sangeeta. And she's also in the, the critically acclaimed work includes the award-winning feature film Life Goes On, as well as stage productions that include the Dying Song and the Tanjali 100. In terms of the running order, just so that you have a sense of how this evening is going to proceed, now that I'm going to step out and you know really let Sangeeta take charge of, 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 the, of the evening, we'll start with a poetry reading uh, from uh, the new book. Uh, and after that, we'll have the screening of the film, following which the floor will be open for questions and answers <coughs> and discussions. Thank you so much. Hope you really enjoy that. <coughs> Institute SOAS uh, for co-hosting this evening. Um, I'd urged a lot of our better members to buy tickets and go for the BAFTA screening which happened on Sunday. So many of them, many of them were there. Um, welcome to all of you. And also, uh, you know what's special about this evening because we are celebrating the launch of a new book as well as the launch of a new film. Each of them deserve 
a separate event, but we are punching the two together, and I have to be really a good timekeeper this evening. But I would first of all like to have a photo of maybe yeah. with the book. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Can we please have the star with us? I will be able to. Manage without you. Yeah, thank you. So the book, Kefi Azmi Poems, Nazims, is uh, edited and co-translated by Sudeep Sen. Uh, what's quite unique about the book is that there there is a team of translators. There are five co-translators. And what I found very exciting and precious about the book was that each translator had space, had been given space for their own introductions. So it's a really interesting book to look at, to hope, to own, to gift, and it's a Bloomsbury publication. What we will do today is uh, run through a couple of the poems and Shavana will be reading the original poetry, and Sudeep will read the English translations. Uh, I'd like to know how many of you uh, understand and speak Urdu? Acha. The matlab original sonani mein phir koi. Acha. Thik hai. Achhi baat. So what I'd like to uh, begin by saying is that I'm very grateful to Betha and to Samita Datta for organizing this evening and thank you all of you for being here. Um, this happens to be the birth centenary year of Kefi Azmi, my father, and uh, we have had many, many programs in his honor, uh, of which I think one of the most important is the making of this film, Kefi Nama by Shumantra Koshal who is a very highly respected ad filmmaker and also documentary filmmaker, having made very successful films on Zakir Hussain and uh, Malvika Sarukai. Uh, the thing is, I think it is important to remember Kefi, not just because of the person that he was, but also to celebrate his life and times, because it was not just Kefi himself, but a whole host of uh, poets and writers who came together uh, because they believed that art should be used as an instrument for social change, uh, which in today's world we are seeing is fast disappearing. And I think through this film and through the translations of these poems, what I am hoping and all of us are hoping is we remind ourselves of those times and reclaim a very important part that art has to play. Uh, I don't think we'll spend too much time reciting the poems because they're also going to be there in the, in the film. We'll start with uh, a poem of mine, which I really like, poem of mine, no, favorite poem of uh, mine. What used to happen in my house every single day is that in the morning I would find my mother in a crisp cotton uh, sari, always smelling very nice. She never... Um, hung around in a kaftan or night clothes and uh, she'd wear this lovely cotton sari, smell of idr, she'd pick up these little har singar ka pools which would kept in a wicker uh, basket and tea was a huge ceremony in the house. So it's one such time that Kefi describes, it's a very beautiful, lovely, romantic poem. Uh, Nazm ka unwaan hai, ek lamha. जिंदगी नाम है कुछ लम्हों का और उनमें भी वही एक लम्हा जिसमें दो बोलती आंखें चाय की प्याली से जब उठें तो दिल में डूबें डूब के दिल में कहें आज तुम कुछ न कहो आज मैं कुछ न कहूं बस यूं ही बैठे रहें हाथ में हाथ लिए गम की सौगात लिए गर्मी के जज्बात लिए कौन जाने के इसी लम्हे में दूर पर्वत पे कहीं बर्फ पिघल नहीं लगे So before I actually read the poem, I just want to say there are five translators, so the book belongs to five people. Bayadar Bhatt, uh, Hussain Ali, Meer Ali, Pritish Nandi, Shumanto Grosad, whose poems are not only translated in the book, but they are all in the film as well. And I'm the fifth one. 
and uh, this particular poem is actually a favorite of Sangeeta as well, and it's an all-time favorite. And one of the things I want to tell you is that it is very, very difficult uh, to follow the exact metrics and cadence of the Urdu and get it as an English poem, uh, because it's very strict. Um, so uh, we'll talk about that maybe later, but just this is the translations I've, I've done of Ek Lama. What we call life is just a few moments. And within that one moment when a pair of expressive eyes look up from a teacup and drown in the heart, drowning, say, today you should keep your silence. Today I will keep mine. Let us just sit hand in hand with our mutual gift of grief, with our shared heat of emotions. Who knows, in this moment, on some distant mountain, the snow might start to melt. Lovely. I'd like to share something that my brother always says. My mother is an extremely talkative woman. Sagar, you know that about your daddy, yeah? Yes. And so am I. Anyway, and my father was given to long silences. So my brother says that this nazm was written as a plea to my mother, that And so ultimately he had to write this nazm because of that. The interesting thing, of course, is when you say that, and when I was translating the poem, I didn't know the context of this, uh, I mean, the, the sort of sub subtext of this, and I took it as this sort of this wonderful sort of unsaid love. But it's not so on that note, I'll read a poem. This is the very, very first poem I actually translated of Kepi Saab's uh, about 20 years ago as a young, young uh, student. Uh, the poem, the translation of the poem has since changed a lot because I have grown as a poet and as a person. <coughs> and uh, one of the uh, interesting things was when I first was introduced to Kafi Azmi's poetry by my mother, uh, who read Aurat out to us in full Hindi. She knows some of her, his poems by heart, actually. I was very, very moved, of course, by the, uh, the romanticism, the, the, the lyricism, the, the passion. But over time, what I realized was this is a man who has immense amounts of gravitas because of his politics, because of his humanity, because of his trade unionism, and so on. So the poem I have actually slightly altered some of the words and phrases to bring in that space. You want to read that? Ek bosa, one kiss. The moment I kiss these beautiful eyes, a hundred lamps in the darkness glow, glitter. Fool kya shaguk 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 Fool kya shaguk kya chaan kya sitare kya sab rakhi padmo me sar chukane lagte hain. What flowers, what buds, what moon, what stars? All my rivals bow at your feet, head lowered. They begin their dance, the idols of Ajanta, as their long, close-lipped caves start to sing. Flowers bloom in unkempt, wilted gardens on thirch wrenched earth. Clouds collect and hover. Momentarily, the world relinquishes cruelty. Momentarily, all stones start to smile. That's lovely. Is ka jo last band hai wo ye hai? थोड़ी देर के लिए ये दुनिया जुल्म छोड़ देती है थोड़ी देर को सब पत्थर 
मुस्कुराने लगते हैं तो दिस इज सो टिपिकल ऑफ कैफी के इवन वेन ही इज एक्चुअली जस्ट सेंग अ रोमांटिक पोएम even then there will be a little twist in it somewhere so that it becomes much larger than his personal experience and that's what i like about it abhi sangeeta i don't think we should take too much time sangeeta aap padh you then you do hmm you're not reciting it's been very coy not at all more blank more blank but ah okay Before you go to Mobla, can I ask you a question, Sudhir, yeah, yeah. about the, the the poems that you've selected and how how did you decide who's translating which poem? How did that happen? Yeah, so that was partly um, I think the one of the very first conversations when we had. I remember Javed Sahab said, "Do not do any guzzles," <laughs> which was a, a good idea actually. So I all the the, the larger long list I had was all nazms. uh eventually we have three guzzles in the book because shimantra has made the film so we wanted some of his all his poems actually to be available in print so that was one easy way to start because in you know, a guzzle requires a very very different kind yeah. of um you know, syntax yeah and it's very very difficult to actually do a english guzzle so a wonderful <coughs> kashmiri poet uh, <coughs> shahid ali actually did wonderful guzzles and the other way of course was um Try and do poems which are not been translated. So forty, eighty uh, percent of the book is uh, all brand new translations, unpublished, and twenty uh, percent, which is Preeti Shandhi's uh, 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 translations, were first published in nineteen seventy-five as a limited edition chap book. So, and he only did about eleven or twelve poems, of which ten of them are here, which is great because it actually re-circulates his poetry back. So we tried and you know chose a. subject matter yeah. b length c the poems you like so everybody was actually given full um, i suspect space to choose their own and then the common ones got in and then we decided so to fit work very organically actually it was really great to work with everybody so i'll end this because the film will have a lot of poetry in his life and this is a poem which i have written in an original english and it's a dedication to kafi saab on his uh, 100th birth anniversary which was january 14th 2019 and you can relate this mobla story though before that you know for all the communists that he was he had one passion and that was mobla pens and he had 18 of them and um, every time somebody gave me a mobla pen he would immediately take it from me and then write a lovely letter to my friend saying why it was so much more secure with him <laughs> than with me and his greed knew no bounds in fact he would every now and then take out those pens and send them to a, a to, to a fountain pen hospital in new york and i used to see you call yourself a communist and you do all this but somewhere <laughs> passion i think comes above all else so he's written about that Mont Blanc for Café Sub. Blue black ink tip of your fountain pen's nib. Edges words on your sepia notebook. <coughs> Lines outliving the instrument itself. Ink slow fills the belly of your pens. Its capillary pressure coursing through the gold nib. The unseen veins. parting leaking words phrases lyrics lines lines singing protesting plowing azamgarh's land your ancestral michwan <coughs> sustenance for body mind soul your writing tools periodically shipped far to new york New York's Fountain Pen Hospital, a facelift, pristine architecture restored. Eighteen more blows to remember you by. I vividly recollect the first inscription you penned for me on a photocopied flyleaf of your out-of-print poetry chapbook. 
the subtle seduction of Urdu's cursive script, its parabolic slums, serifs, your hand scripting codes for life. Your lyrics rose, guzzles mellifluous sonorous baritone. Your nib fertile, metrical, sharp, sure. Poetry's passion, a love I shared with a man I've never met, but cross spots through the measure of his ink on a page. I recall my ma powerfully elocuting your nazm orat. Ut meri jaan, mere saath hi chalna hai tujhe. Rise, my beloved, with me you must walk along. Is that your original for the sun? زندگی جہد میں ہے صبر کے قابو میں نہیں زندگی جہد میں ہے صبر کے قابو میں نہیں نبز ہستی کا لہو کانپتے آنسو میں نہیں اڑنے کھلنے میں ہے نکھت خم گیسو میں نہیں جنت ایک اور ہے جو مرد کے پہلو میں نہیں اس کی آزاد روش پر بھی مچلنا ہے تجھے اٹھ میری جان میرے ساتھ ہی چلنا ہے تجھے آئیے Uh, Shabana will be back for a discussion after the film. You will enjoy the film which runs for 92 minutes. <coughs> and it's a, a very, very beautiful, immersive experience now with a, a very valuable collection of archival material. We'll talk more about that uh, after the screening. <laughs>